Okay. Okay, sir. Apo. All right. So again, last time uh, we are still in the linear data structures, no? So when we talk about linear data structures, we are going to arrange, I mean, we are going to store our data in a linear manner. So we have discussed last week, and uh, now last last week, stack algorithm. So as we all know, stack algorithm has been, uh, has been existing for a while, for a quite some time. Even uh, it is, it was actually uh, applied or implemented in several uh, applications now. So even in if you want to if you if you want to you know uh, research on it, it has been applied to early operating, uh, early memory management or early operating systems. So there are actually uh, certain algorithms like first fit, best fit, and worst fit algorithms in early operating systems in terms of uh, memory handling management. So katung mga karaan nato na mga operating systems before. So nato na sila. Uh, in terms of memory management, no, so it it follows the the that algorithm. So, kumbaga, that is their motivation, no, kumbaga, uh, uh, motivation and influence in creating uh, memory and uh, memory management or in handling memory uh, allocation. So, uh, stack. Did you know that stack? Uh, I mean, Java uses two memory. Uh, allocation or memory management. So these are stack and heap memory. So this data structures like your like stack is actually applied in as a memory in Java for storing or for yeah for storing actual values which are used for pre your primitive data types. So every time you create your every time you create or declare a primitive data types in your program, it is stored into stack memory of Java. So if ever you are you will be using those reference classes like mga ADT or built-in ADT in Java, such as like integer, vector, array list, this will be uh, stored to a heap a heap memory. Okay. So which is later on I'm gonna be discussing to you the. Uh, the dynamic arrays now, which is linked list. So to start with, we are going to create a class. So let's say this time we're going to be creating a test queue. If you guys want to follow, please do so. Just in case uh, you are in front of your computers. So by the way, see queue unlike stack, no, unlike stack, the stack is the it's under Java that util as a concrete class, as a concrete class, okay. ADT concrete class. So in the concept of object oriented programming, when you talk about concrete class, concrete class contains concrete methods. Okay, so naman uh, sa Java mangut naman three types of like templates. So we have this what we call concrete class. Concrete class contains only concrete methods. We have this what we call abstract class. Anything that has uh, anything that is defined by an abstract keyword, it's an abstract class. This class contains both abstract and concrete methods. So, what's the difference, by the way? With what's the difference between concrete methods and abstract methods? In the virtue of object-oriented principle, when we talk about concrete methods, these are methods. These are normal methods that contains uh, a name and a body, you no, know, a prototype and a body. So this is what we normally use in our program. Now, when we talk about concrete uh, abstract methods, these methods are, are aside from it is defined using abstract keyword, these methods are uh, methods with no body. Okay, example, no, uh, let's say for an instance, para magas relate lang. Example, you can create such method like, maingon lang ka, oh, let's say abstract, but this one is abs di mangguni siya. Anyway, no, abstract public uh, void a. So something like this one. So this is this is considered as abstract method, no? So this one. So this is an abstract method, and the only way for the only way for us to implement them is when we are going to inter. Uh, 
uh, implement this interface or implement this abstract class. So, sa object oriented, pro I will leave the object, your object oriented programming principle, no, para masabtan niyo na. But what I, why I'm introducing this one to you because Q, okay, Q is an interface in Java now. So, in, I mean, in Java, Q is implemented through an interface. So, di ba natin yung katunggi yun ako, concrete class, abstract class, and then the other one, the other template is actually called interface. When you talk about interface in Java, these are, uh, it, it is said that these are not classes, or, yeah, per, yes, this is not a class, but uh, let's just consider this as like a class that only contains abstract methods. So, meaning to say, tanan sulod anang na interface is in ani lang abstract methods lang. And by the way, when we talk about abstract methods, these methods must be overridden, must be inherited. No? In, in the principle number two, inheritance, tanan abstract methods or declared as an abstract method, methods rather, must be inherited by any implementing class. Okay, so why, why there is an, this what we call the interface and abstract class in Java or in OOP? because um, they actually aim to make all other programmers, all of the programmers to speak the same language. So that whether whatever your nationality is, whether you're Chinese, you're Japanese, you're Korean, you're, you're Americans, the um, idea there is once we implement and use that interface, we all have the same name. We all have the same name for when we get to have an action for our button, we always we always have the same. So, kung sa Korean they have this their action perform as the method. So, sa Filipino we also have action perform as a method. So, in that way we have meta language. No, so when we talk about meta language, it is for us to understand with each other, no matter what what language or national nationality uh, we do have. So, in ana ang idea sa interface, no? Kasi as a programming language, dapat we have to understand each other. Not by the way we speak, not by the way we, uh, not the way we understand our, uh, its language or our own languages, but the way we are able to communicate, uh, not the way we are able to communicate, but at least in, in terms of the way we write our programs, we, we, we understand the same, okay? So in the same ang atuang interfaces. Now, why I again uh, introduce to you that because uh, inter Q is actually an interface. So before we are going to create an ADT for Q, let me what happened to this one. So let me let me it's not typing. My goodness. So it let me uh, what they call this one implement this Q. Okay. So as you can see, we have here Java that util that Q. So we have here. This is since Q is an interface, you have to implement all the methods inside of it, abstract methods. So to prove to you that it's actually an interface, the moment you implement these methods, you will have you will be asked to. Create. So these are the operations inside of the queue. You will be the one to implement codes for it. So meaning to say, when we are going to implement a queue uh, ADT or a queue algorithm in our program, it's for us to create whatever we would like to do inside of this link. For an instance, element, whatever you want to, to write in here, it's, it's up to you as a programmer. Okay? But whether no matter on sa kang on sa nationality ni mo, you, you have we all have the same method like element, like poll, like remove. So meaning to say, you cannot change this name. You cannot change the name, whatever Q has set for that. Okay, so that's that's actually interfaces. So you can implement Q also without uh, implementing it by by using. By using priority queue and link list. So, wait for a while. so there you are. So you can uh, implement queue by creating a. Uh, so this is 
what we called uh, up, up heaping, uh, up scaling something. So in which Q is can be can be created or can be implemented using priority queue. That one. Okay. So you cannot again you cannot instantiate a queue using its method because it's not a concrete class. All right. So you can also so whatever is inside of the queue, like add, add all clear contains are now going to be uh, what they call this one can be implemented using priority queue. So yeah, no. So this time, now that I have shown you that the how queue is implemented in in a pro in your program in Java, this time we're gonna be creating a our own ADT for queue. So let's create an ADT for queue by creating a a queue of course an ADT queue. So let's um, create a queue. This time, okay. So this time it's our own queue operation. So what do you mean by queue? So there are um, queue is first in first out algorithm. So it is used for sa mga banko, sa mga queuing process, sa like sa ato ang sa printer, no? Sa mga print sa printer nato. If we are going to print the documents, naka queue na dira ato ang mga uh, ato ang papers. No? So when we print a document, naka queue naka queue na siya with uh, with sorry, uh, naka queue na siya with unsa na document ang mauna. So of course katong nasa pinaka uh, pooling a uh, pinaka ano sa printer pool and then when it comes to document regardless kung i-print pa ni mo siya from ang tanan document so mag-start na siya of course by printing with the first document until the rest of the document. No, depending if equate nimo or not, kung must start siya sa last part. Okay, depends sa arrangement. But that's how and uh, where queue is actually applied and implemented. So basically, first in, first out, the the element or the data that is or that was inserted uh, at the very big uh, at at first. No, kung baga kung tung data na na insert pinakauna mao po tung data na ma remove okay so we have this what we called front and rear so so when we talk about pro, uh, front this is where we remove the element okay and then sir rear this is where we insert the element so sa stack it only happens at one end sa top lang okay sa queue <coughs> Sa queue, uh, sa front siya mag-delete, sa rear na mag-insert. So, duha ka buok yung ano. So, duha ang iyahang, duha, uh, this is, this, uh, this is to maintain the, the, ano, the algorithm, the, the algorithm of queue. So, it has to have front and rear. So, this time, there are two operations of, basic two operations of queue, sa so stack push and pop. Equivalent of push in Q is in Q, no? and then in Q, equivalent of pop in stack in Q is actually the Q. Okay, so let's now let's now keep going and let's uh, write the components of our Q here. So let's say we have so we will implement muna array array base for our Q. So let's say we have okay. And then the normal and typical na mga components like as I uh, told you earlier, front, rear, and then let's include capacity. Okay, so this time we have now the this uh, basic components for our queue. So this time we are going to create a constructor for this. So, mm, okay, so just the usual we do just like the stack we are going to for default constructor we are going to create a a default capacity for our queue and then let's um instance uh, no let's initialize front and rear to negative one you have the option to to declare or to initialize front and rear by zero 
but let's follow the standard the same with what we follow in in stack so and after that instantiate nato si the array with that capacity so we are allocating the our array to have five as the capacity for our queue and then yeah so you can also create parameterized constructor for this by adding capacity to this one and then this that capacity to capacity okay so similar to stack you can have is empty for your queue is full uh, also with uh, like peak no other other na mga ano. oh yeah later on i'm going to discuss to you the difference between sa peak sa stack and peak sa queue okay so Right here, we are going to create a in-queue operation. So this is this is the first basic operation of Q U E U A. Okay. So let's say we are going to accept data na lang muna, uh, integer data from the user. Okay, so to start with, um, you can say something like how how do we know na if if um, a queue is an empty how do we know if a queue is full so yeah without so how do we know if a queue is empty public boolean is any guess how do we know that a queue is empty if hello Print is equals to negative one. Bag. Print is equals to negative one. Ah, sorry. Hello, hello. Hello. Pwede magtingog ka isa kay akong paminahon kung di kayo kadungog. Wait. Basin bungol. Or... Hello. Hello. Uh -oh. Ayan. Sig oh, yan madungga na ako gamay. Basin bungol ako ang ako'y bungol or sa ba? Oh yeah, so how do we know if we know if it's empty if ang rare na to is still negative one, no? Okay, so tama, tama na. So tama yung giing, uh, ang inyong assumption or ang inyong guess. So how do we know if <coughs> this? So how do we know <coughs> if Okay, rako class ha. Okay, rako. So how do we know if a and a queue is full? If ato ang unsa? Ato ang rare is katong capacity, sir. Very good. So capacity minus one. So ang front dili nato ilabtan kasi front is always constant na kana. But depende, no? Depende di ay na ay na ay certain na ay implementation of a queue na ang front ang naga uh, increase no so pero it's another ano to siya another algorithm pero pwede kaya punto siya for in queue or nd queue rather so but this time let's do the standard no queuing uh in queuing uh, operation so you can of course you can have is empty here like uh you can call the operation is if is empty then I don't know what you would like to do or put right here. Basta ka mabaala na. So let's say Q is full. Okay. You can also, uh, actually you can make this one as a string. It depends on your in your preference. Ret para mag-return lang siya Q is full. Okay. So instead of uh, do we display, I display na to siya using system that out, it will return a value no, or a string value. So next is what we are going to do is we are now going to increment rare. So C rare is the indication na mag uh, naga change na ang state sa to ang queue. So with this, we can now aside or along the way na gi, gi increment na to C rare point ato pong i ano si front as like zero every time mag in, uh, in queue ta. Though if na I declare ni mo si front dere as like Ibutang ni mo as front is equal to zero. Of course, you don't have to write front is equal to zero here because you have already included it there. Okay. 
So next is we are now going to store yan, rare pla equals the data. Yan, as simple as that. And then we're done with the queuing or in queue. So let's have now the DQ. Okay, so let's just have this as DQ. And then, so since the algo is first in, first out, so every time we call <coughs> is full. Okay, so ay mo kakulba, wala bitaw online transmission, no? Na virus, sa virus, okay, is full. Ay nga naman eh, balik tad na. If is empty, Q is empty. If is full, Q is full, okay. So with this, what we are going to do is in in uh, for for us to maintain the the I don't know the front rear relationship of Q, we'll have to perform cascade delete. Because as uh, a stack as uh, a stack sa array, because there is no such thing as you can delete the data in an array. What we can do is we perform cascade delete. So meaning to say, um, value that is at the, the value that from the front will be replaced with the value next to it, and then the value next after it will be replaced by the value uh, beside it again, and uh, loop na niya until all uh, all values from the from the rear will replace all the values to to the front. So basically, ang buhato nato would be uh, ang algorithm niya is going to only uh, it's re yeah remove siya but inter uh, physically wala siya na remove but only logically you no know? uh, logically in turn uh, in a in a way that it's not actually being removed but it's let's just say it's an inaccessible so later on I'm gonna show you makita din yun siya later on. Okay, so before we are going to remove, of course, kailangan sa nato siya iputang sa uh, third party variable. Let's say we have your front. And then after that, we can now call a, uh, this will now perform the cascade delete. Okay, or a cascade niya ang mga values from going from the rear to the front, no? Para mar mawala, mapulihan tong front. Nanay bago na, na front. Kasi sa front man ta always mag-delete or mag-remove. So you have here, let's say zero. Tapos you have I is less than the rear. And then I plus plus. So right here, we can now do the uh, cascade delete. So this is how it works. So example, no? So in any ang may tabo, if you have, let's say, so naadre ang front na to, okay? So let's say you have three, five, one, so maon ni atong, let's say, elements, uh, six, okay? Uh, wait for a while. Example lang maon atong mga elements, and then this is where our uh, rear is. So when you insert, there is a. So ang front is three, money ang always, ang madilit always, as, ano, as always, which is that's why inana siya. So para ma maintain yang property na ang front ang always madilit, always ang zero, uh, always index zero, we'll need to cascade all these elements towards left which is replacing the elements here. So meaning to say 5 will replace 3, 1 will replace 5, and 6 will replace 1. So therefore, kaning, wa, kaning last value and kaning siya, or kaning second to the last, kaning duha, mag upon deletion or dequeuing, pareha na na value. Okay? So para mawala ang last value atong element, kay gikaskade naman na to, you'll need to to decrement the value of rare, okay, yeah, by one. So meaning inaccessible na tong na adire. So we, when you perform DQ in this kanisha, no kanisha na, na operation, ibutang. When you perform DQ after performing it, ang mahitabo would be 
Okay. Internally, sa imong program, sa imong array, ang nahitabo would be 5, uh, 1, and 6. Inana siya. But since nag, uh, nag, in, nag decrementa sa rare, para dili na siya ma-access ang 6. So, no, gikaskade na nato ang value. So this time, inaccessible na ang 6, pero kung i-atuadyo na siyang i-capture ang value sa kani, which is uh, index 4, na po na siya sa physical storage. Okay? Pero inaccessible na lang. Okay? So anyway, don't, don't, uh, you don't have to, ano, kasi the moment mag-inqueue ka, okay, the moment na mag-perform na po ka in queue katong katong value na nagduplicate sa second next value is mapulihan naman siya with the new value because again mag rare plus plus naman punta okay so that's how it works no so ayan that's the basic operation for q and dq so pwede na to pwede ta mag uh, tawag og isa ka let's say public string display and then let's have uh, use one loop here. And okay, and then return out of shall we? Okay, so. You have your Q. Okay, Q. Q equals to new Q. So let's say Q dot uh, in Q. Say uh, five. So we have ten. We have twelve and seven, and then. So let's say we are going to display here, it here, no, rather. Tapos Q dot DQ. Yeah, it display na to ang pag, ang sayo na remove. Okay, so Q dot DQ. Is removed. Um, basta remove from the Q. Okay. Uh, what happened? Mm, UI, okay. So, naka void atong DQ, sorry. Return, return val. Okay. So, balik ta diri. And uh, okay, ato asan ng ibutang dito si Val somewhere here. And initialize na to with zero. Okay. Ayan. Mm, and then we are going to display the queue here. Ah, okay, so naatay index out of bounds. Wait, capacity na to would be 5. What happened? Q, 5, capacity 5. Hmm. Ah, okay, lahi ni na Q. Unsa ka ni na Q yang na Q, U, A, U, A. Wait, unsa na Q day ni yang na tawag. So let's say if five na lang nato ni MT asa man nga queue gitawag niya. Sorry, sorry for that, no. <coughs> you ah okay. E. Is this not the same queue that we call? Pariha manok, spelling, tama ba? Yes, sir. Mm. 
Baka mm. dun sa ano, sir, yung NQ na method. Kap, um, maka-NQ ka lang if the if the Q is not full, right? Instead of is empty. Not sure though. This one? If Q uh, that is yan empty. Yan na method, sir. If Q that, uh, itry na, tama. I-check na to. Uh, yeah, thank you for that, uh, Cass, no? Atong ano hon, kung na, na ba siya here. I-trace na to. Basin, due to that if condition. Mwa, juday takasulod. Wala takasulod diri. So, uh, because rare is negative one. Ah, okay. Give false na direct so not give true na nato siya direct so no therefore there is siya Q yes. is empty so dapat unahon na lang nato ni siya og ah sorry rare plus uh, rare plus plus kid give direct so nato false so therefore a uh, true ang di na siya mosulod jud sa else yeah so okay ana thank you for that guys thank you welcome sir okay so yan ni sulod siya and then that's it. I mean, that's the basic uh, operations of Q. So now, uh, sa, sa stack, can you always remember? Ha? Sa stack, ang peak. Peak is, ang peak means mo na siya ang, ang, imong ma remove. Okay, mo na ang, mo na ang about a data or element that is about to be removed. So, sa stack, ang ma-remove is katong sa top. Okay? Sa queue, ang ma-remove ang front. So, lahi ang when we talk about peak sa, sa, sa stack, katong nasa sta, sa top. When we talk about peak sa queue, dapat katong ma-remove is, ay katong, ang, ang iyang peak is katong value na nasa first. Nakuha. So, sa stack, again ha, in ania, peak sa stack is katong top value. Okay, pick, uh, pick, or oh, this is for stack. Okay, and then for pick in, in Q is katung front value. Okay, this is for Q. So, yeah, when we talk about pick sa stack, that's the top value. When we talk about pick in Q, that is the front value. Okay. So yeah, you can you can now explore more like uh, front value, rare value, okay, other things like uh, other things for your queue operation. So that's how this queue ADT works on our, or works as an algorithm. Okay, that is array using array implementation. Now this time uh, we still have uh, more or less more than. Pilanaba. Almost 20 minutes. So let's discuss the last topic or the last for this uh, actually for this week, no, which is linked list. So <coughs> LL Aninala. Okay. So this time. When we talk about the uh, linear list algorithm in Java, there are actually a lot. No? So we can, I know you've already encountered uh, vector. So let's say vector new is equal to vector. And you have probably, you have also encountered array list. So say A or R equals to new array list. And then you have also this what we call linked list, which is money I don't discuss, I discuss later on. <laughs> okay, so all these algorithms, you know, these are these are linear list algorithms in Java, and there are actually um, so much more. You no, know? stack you are also linear list algorithm uh, algorithms rather. So their pinaka parent is um, super class nila is C list. So this there is this list also algorithm. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, 
uh, not in the sun ha kanang nasa kaning nasa java that util so as an interface so all of it inherited the uh, property of list algorithm so example we have a uh, list here yan daw add as linked list and then you have here the list so hash code and iterator is empty are all in the parent list so basically delete niya kani si is empty and uh what else here si retain all and uh what else sort are not originally from linked list they are from list algorithm so kung ato apong i-appeal si stack theory as a as a list algorithm we can actually call stack now so tung tan bapansin ninyo si stack has few of its operations gikan sa vector no so pila lang ang original na mga if you try if you try to look at it push is originally from stack but when we talk about remove uh, other things like uh, what else? Kaning last element are actually coming from its parent vector. So they actually form hierarchical relationship or hierarchical inheritance. So ang original lang yun na nakai stack at lang yung push and pop. So anyway, so since they are all they are of the same family, that is why they just share common and same parang same resources. So that's the idea of um, linked list, no? So whether you use vector, array list, and uh, stack or queue, they all are the same. Kasi they, kaya lang mag-vary lang siya sa unsa tong operation na, na originally from them, no? They derive from other list algorithm. Ang, ang vector with, the difference with vector and array list is that ang, in, Ang difference lang nila is that synchronized ang, uh, is it synchronized or, yeah, the other one is synchronized while the other one is non-synchronized. And ang uh, vector will grow its um, size by by 100%. So, and then the other one is by half. See, our list is it will grow by half. So, in terms of mag-store of data, mas, if, mas, mas makasave ka when we use vector compared to array list. Now, what about linked list? When we talk about linked list as an algorithm, this has add, okay? This has add uh, operations, add first, okay? Add last, add a, a specific or certain location. You can also have, so you have here add first. Okay, and then, yeah, you can add as many as data as you can because it's dynamic, the same with other uh, list algorithm like vector, okay? And then you can also perform add at last or add last, okay? And you can also add a, a data at a certain or specific location. So add first, add last, add at position, you can also do remove first, remove, uh, remove at last, or remove last and remove at certain position. So everything na naakay, karon uh, kas parang disadvantages na naakay stack and queue were only na limitation on where to add and where to delete. Si linked list naman, the same with other list algorithms like vector and array, uh, array list can now store data from uh, can now store data to any uh, to any no any position whether sa last first or sa beginning or sa end or even sa center or mi mi uh, middle and then the problem lang with linked list is that uh, not problem but it, when you when you traverse the elements you must have traverse from one uh, location to uh, one the first value to the end of the value Kumbaga, ang traversal and searching is quite if uh, quite slow compared to uh, array implementation. So, by the way, when we talk about array and linked list, 
uh, historically pa, kung sa C++ siya dati pag you can implement stack and queue using array data structure because array is a data structure and then you can also implement uh, a stack and queue using a pointer based or a dynamic based data structure which is linked list now this time we are going to create our own linked list so yes it's already built in and it's already here in our in java but again i already told you the purpose why we do reverse engineer why we why we keep on studying the early uh, data structures and why do we really need to create our own ADT from scratch rather than using them because <laughs> as i've told you before we are able to appreciate its usage appreciates it its uh, importance is we have to understand them better okay so we don't settle on becoming a user only no so dapat mag ano ta mag mag makabalo po ta mag himo o sarili na to uh, sana out of this one no if a reverse engineer na to well, mao akong gusto pa sabot okay so this time we are going to create let's say l node by the way, when we talk about linked list, so now the types of linked list, we have uh, singly linked list, doubly and circular linked list. So, atong uh, buhaton karon is singly linked list lang, okay? So, ang the linked list or linked list contains a node, okay? So node and each node contains data and the uh, the address okay so that's it no uh, node contains the data and the address so familiar naman eh because na discuss na to ni gamay sa to ang discrete structure which is um binary trees no contains node it contains the data and the address why it has to contains data and the ad address because the link list is going to create a link of list of that particular uh, parang the moment na mag insert kag data it has to it has to maintain the the chain no dili niya i break ang chain where they are connected with each other <laughs> example when you are going to insert okay so by the way there is this what we called na uh, head head is declared as null at the very first time na uh, if a node is empty this would indicate or this this would tell the compiler that the node is actually empty so once uh, recognized niya na null ang nagpoint ang head to null so meaning there's no address that is being assigned to it it means that our head is actually empty okay the moment we are going to en uh, enter data let's say we are going to enter, let's say, 45. So this 45 now will uh, our node or our our link list will create a node, which means that head is going to link to the new node that you have created, and this would have data as 45 plus the null pointer, null pointer, <laughs> or null at uh, null, no. So Basically, when the when you insert a data, okay, the head now will have the address that is assigned to it. The question there is, kinsa mag assign ana sir? Ang mag assign ana si kanina si Java, no? So unsay address niya sir? Unsay index niya? We don't know, okay? We will not know because only Java is going to assign address for that, no? Asa na yagikan? It will be picked randomly from our RAM. So we don't, we will not know kung sa to na mga memory address ang i-assign sa to ah. Okay, so let's say this is RAM. Uh, na kay RAM dire and then it will take address from there sa imuhang list. So katong na mga address na i-assign sa to ang list, mao to ang mga address for that node. So head now will point to the new node which is let's say 45 ang element niya and then the null uh, pointer. So when you insert another data, or another element to it, your 
it will create another node which contains again element or data as well as the address so this time when this is when there is another node that is insert, inserted let's say it is inserted sa last so you will have here the next uh, next pointer so the next pointer is going now to point another or to point to the new node so you will have another node let's say you insert 78 sa last so 78 now will have something like in anina port so what happened then? So si head, ang address ni head will be, or ang 45 will be held by the address of head. So meaning, kaning uh, yahang, yahang storage is si head. And then ang storage ani ni 78 is si next. That is to keep on the, that is to keep on the link, no? Or the list of the link para maging, para there is to maintain its um, connectivity or connection. So how do we do that? Okay. By the way, if, in ADT, if you want to, if you want your class na mag-accept siya of anything, like, <laughs> excuse me for a while, mag-accept siya integer, mag-accept siya float, double, string, you can put here and uh, a vector saying or de uh, just define or write object so meaning you can you can store as uh, you can you can actually store different objects to your to your node okay pero if you want the integer lang you can actually uh, write here integer but this time let's make it na polymorphic so meaning it can accept uh, different data Okay, so do you guys uh, understand? Do you follow? Nay, nay question. Do you have questions? Napat wala man mo yklasi after ani no? Ay sa pukan na. Discrete structures lang din siya. Discrete pa man dayo? Oh, tama sige sige. Ato lang sa ning i. Ah, I will just ah. I will just demonstrate few operations, especially the important operations for this. So, okay. So let's have. Uh, how many are we here? Are we here? The gandagan man If you guys want to follow, please follow. So this time we are going to, in uh, we are going to declare the a node. So. Sige, so objects na muna. Object, data. So this is, so again ha, ang link list, duha ka book yung component. The data and then the pointer or the next pointer which is pointing to the next node. If you are going to ask me a question, nga nung kailangan, ina, kailangan siya, it's because uh, think of it as like, as a train. Murag train, uh, think of it as a train. Na ang train, uh, Diba kung train, let's say you have 10 trains, pag ang train dungagan ni mo, pwede ni mo dungagan sa likod, pwede ni mo dungagan sa, sa tunga, pwede ni mo, even pwede ganit ni mo siya idungag sa first. So in anang idea sa link list. So kailangan na si like connections by linking its address no para ma-maintain na to ang ilahang uh, link, ma-maintain na to ang list of links sa ato ang nodes. Excuse me. So this time we have here uh, the uh, let's say the node which is the head, and then the next node. So mato kong gidiskas kanina na mga head. A uh, head is an indication that this is the start of our node. Next, next means this is the uh, pointer or that is pointing next to another node, okay? So after that, what we are going to do is let's create a, a constructor. So this time we are going to declare, excuse me, next is equal to head 
is equal to null. So this would indicate that our node is still an empty node. Okay. And then let's leave it to like that. Now this time, let's have public Boolean is empty. So how would we know na empty siya? As I've told you earlier, if it uh, it is empty if our head is still equal to null, right? So let's now perform one operation of a uh, linked list, which is add first or add at first. Add first na lang para same dito sa git. Ah, para na ikalahian utatog at okay. So we have here object data. Okay, so right here, if if is empty, so if it's empty, then what we are going to do when it is empty, we are going to uh, first is magbutang sa tatre o instantiation sa tong node with So let's say L node. Ayan. So new node that data so will be taken from or the value. So mauna ni ang first. So as a node, it will have the first value from, from the data as an object that we get to assign it when we are going to call add at first. So right here, you will have data there. Okay, so <coughs> now we are going to use the next address to it pointing to a null. So meaning that node, when a node is empty, it, it should be pointing to the null address, meaning there's no other node after at first because it's pinaka first. Okay, then after that, we can now assign that this node will become our head. So since empty pa, and then add siya sa pinakauna, meaning to say, that node could be probably your first node. Okay? okay. If dili siya empty, so if dili siya empty, that node will be replaced by the new nodes. Right? Kasi add at first man. Dili siya add at last. Kasi kung add at last, sa right side siya ma store okay right side basa uh, right side but since add at first if not is empty it will be replacing the head so what we will do is we will still get to to we will still get the data same but this time instead of null it's we are not going to point the uh, point it to <laughs> to null because we will have we will make uh, we will uh, we will make this node to point to the head so meaning the new node that is insert, inserted at first will now become your head and then the node that is uh, the, the node that is replaced will be the node that is in the next node of that new node okay ana siya no okay so then you have here head is equal to new node. So, sir, question, pwede lang ba instead of diri na ko ni para di na ko magbalik-balik kung butang? Anyway, kung napansin ako, sir, ang ang dili common sa ilaha kanilang mang line 17 and line 21, pwede ba na ko ni ibutang dito sa taas, sir? Yeah, pwede na, no? Pwede na ninyo siya ibutang. But dili pwede ning head is equal to new node kasi dapat in sequence na mabasa na. <laughs> Only this kani. Pwede ninyo ni ibutang dire. Okay? And dira. Okay? So something like that para ma-lessen ninyo yung code. So para in terms of katong gitudlo nimo sa mo sir na na space complexity and time complexity, at least our compiler would not read a uh, lot of codes, no? So yeah, no. So for if you really care for the time and space complexity of your program. Okay, so that's it.
pag mo enter ta og uh, 65 so 65 will be stored if empty siya stored siya as the as a node and then ang ang next ang next address to it is null so kasi siya na karon ang mahimong head so then then when you add at first then nag add, uh, add ka og data let's say 56 so Si 56 na pud karon ang mahimong head which is nagpoint na siya to the next ang 65 ni Moron is would be ana na siya ang forma so that's it no and then it keeps on doing that every time you call add at first okay okay so we are now going to create a traversal so traversal So what do you mean by aya kabalo na mo unsay traversal sa uh, this similar to to binary trees when we talk about traversal it is going to visit all the nodes only that sa uh, binary tree and other trees tree algorithms you are going to not visit all the nodes but here in in linked list you have to visit all the nodes from the very beginning to the end or towards the end there's no such thing as pareha sa binary trees and binary search trees na you can only visit a certain node i mean mas skip nimo ang uban nodes because that's the behavior of binary trees but in linked list no dili siya uh, dili wala inana na behavior sa linked list it should be from the beginning towards the end okay so we do that by creating a traversal so public string Traverse. Okay, so since it's string nisha, we can have if let's say is empty, so we can return something like uh, link ll is empty. Okay, so else, and then we are going to have here the most overrated no na uh, variable hold for string so far sa ato ang mga gipang programs halos hold ato nga gamit for that but again you can you can use anything you want you, know, you can use any any variables you want no it, it depends on your uh, preference so this time we are going to have a uh, this one let's just copy paste this one Sir, pwede ba na ako ni declare sa global? I mean, the as property. Yes, pwede ninyo na siya i-declare dito sa taas. Okay, para di na mo sige uh, instantiate like this one. Okay, but this one I prefer, I would, uh, I would, I would rather, or I prefer na i-local variable na ko siya every, every, on sana, every operation. <laughs> so, instead of ang node na to will be the, uh, in traversal dili ta mag create og node but rather mag mag assign ta that that particular node is going to be uh, <coughs> the head okay so para dili lang mo ma-confuse dili na lang ta new node let's say next ana may next na no uh, link na lang let's say link so meaning ang uh, mag traverse ta every node using the link okay So the link now will be your head. So it's it's going to visit the first node towards the end of the node. Okay. So then we will have a while. So this this time we are going to have while uh, end of file loop. So end of file loop means uh, since mag wala siya kabalok pila ang I mean, since wala kabalo, wata kabalo pila kabuk ang sulod sa to ang nodes, the only way for our program, no, for our link, no, to know na there, uh, that it would, it should stop reading or traversing all the nodes when it is going to recognize the last node that is going to point the null value. Okay, so ato ang i-return ang hold, do wala patay gibutang sa hold value. Okay, so this time what we are going to do here is we are going to 
So this is similar to incrementation. So what would it does? Is okay. What it does? Okay. Sige na mo pang nasin sige na mo pangatawa dera ba yun ako ng katawa ng mahayo dere ron. Hi guys. Hi sir. Hello. Hello sir. No bother mo sa kung ubo, di ba? I told you, puro ubo lang ka ayon, di ba? Watch but that's why wakong lagi mo video recording, recording especially at last time mas worse pa niya. But this is not COVID. I I guarantee you that. Oh tora, I'm sorry. So mo nang wala ko lagi mo, mo nang wala ko lagi mo video recording. Wala ko nagattempt kaya nagtry ko how many times. How many times ko nag-try pero ubo lang ang daghan sa akong lesson. So, manang wala na lang. Better not. So, I decided na inani na lang. Anyway, sige. Uh, I'm really sorry for that, no? Naka-record pa jod patay. Anyway, so, ah, nagani ko yan, no? So, this word, this word, kani siya, link is equal to link that next. It's going to, every time mag-traverse siya sa atuang node, ginakuha niya ang address ato na mga node. So once makuha to niya ng mga addresses, okay? Until kasi that's the only way para ma-traverse niya no. And then until pointing to the null address, that means mag-stop na ato ang uh, ato ang loop. So mao na ginatang nat siya end of file, end of file loop kasi mag-stop siya until the end of the loop. Okay? Ay until the end of the uh, the end of the nodes or end of the list, okay? So This time, pwede na nato mag uh, while give visit niya atong buhaton would be while as it visited the nodes ato ang i-capture ang mga values. So for us to capture the values or the data, we'll need to do link that data, okay? And then something like that, okay? Wait lang for a while na kay. Mmm, sarap. Ang inom sa mong tubig. Mmm, okay. Sige, so this time, traverse that ato ta sa LL list. And then you have here, link list. So we are going to use the built-in link list. Then i-compare na to sa atong gihi mo. For IT people, kato sa mga IT, kung kisay IT dere, just in case na mga IT or IS, ang ang link list or ang data structures niyo is pwede rather sumu sa built-in, but for Comsai Engineering, dapat magcreate yun mga IDT on your own, no? So I mean, you really have to do reverse engineering. So this time, atong buhaton will be mag himo punta og declaration of our node or instantiation rather so we have let's say node is equal to new node so if again you want to store data na integer lang integer lang ang iyang makapture ana but if you want na just omit it if you want na anything pwede siya bisan unsa so let's follow let's just store data so add first asa man tong Add first, yeah, no. So add first, and then we are going to insert twenty-three. Okay, then we have fifty, now forty-three. So you can have here MCM. You have here twelve. Okay, and you can you have you can even store a floating point value, no, or let's say five five point zero something. Okay, we are going to. Do the same for our node. So this one, we are going to use our own ADT. So node, what happened? Ay lahi man tuk pangalan sa tung ano ganina no? Tama ba? Sa kaya tuk pangalan nato ato. Add at first. Oh oh add ah okay oh add at first day to. And then for link list, you just call it LL. 
Okay, automatic mo gawas na naiyahang elements. And then for our own EDT, atong gigami, atong gihimo word R, ay atong gihimo was traverse. Yata. Wala, wala lagi. Ay, sorry. No that traverse. So again, ha, we have, I have just shown here to you two uh, implementations. The first one is the built-in one. The other one is the ones that we create. No, the, uh, the ADT that we just created. So let's run this one, and then there you are. You have uh, you have here similar to our link list, and ang gimo na to na link list, which is node L node rather. <coughs> so, sir, gusto na ako may bal answer ang mga addresses ni ni link list unsa yung mga address nagi assign ana per node or per data. Pwede ninyo na siya i-capture class kasi uh, we are able to actually uh, parang write up our own traversal method from scratch. So you can actually do this like <coughs> something like it. So I'm gonna show you unsa ng mga addresses. So kani di takabalo unsa ni gipang <coughs> ipang provide ni ni Java. So kung mapansin mo mao ni ang mga addresses na gigamit no, na nagi uh, allocate or addresses kani o specifically kani. So meaning daw kani daw na node si 5.0 na data is at node 6B95977. So this is randomly assigned and given by our Java to that node. So Delete na siya, unlike sa array is uh, index base, array base, tapos ikaw mag-set. But this time, delete, delete, no? It will be randomly given. It will be assigned randomly by 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 our Java. No? It will be take it will be taken from the memory, and then tung memory na nakuha na free, ihatag to kay link list, maghimo ta, mag ta og list, which is maunit tong gibuhat karon. Okay? That is now the reason why we can store data dynamically question i question <laughs> hello guys nice question sir question apo can i discuss about the uh, array list and yung vectors for the adp sir Ah, okay. Kato sila, gipakita lang nako na mauto ang family of list algorithms na pwede niyo magamit in, in your program, Pohon. But it's not part of a... Kasi kana sila vector of si array list, pili mana sila. Uh, they are not actually early data structures. So, mga bag umang na sila. Ang wala bali ang kana sila gina-follow lang it's actually ang influence na nila is from from link list so dili jud sila originally na as a data uh, parang algorithm so kubaga gi-copy lang nila si link list nana so pero sa OOP ninyo dapat man uh, di man mo ano OOP no dili man day mo lahi man inyo gikamit na OOP so kung Yes, sa OOP, ma-discuss dapat to si, uh, kasi mag-UML class diagramming man mo, and that's where you can, uh, pwede to nyo i-model si array list and vector. Yeah, so, array list and vector are just family of list, link list. Okay, so, unsay mabuhat ni link list, mabuhat na ni mo kay vector, at the same time, mabuhat ni mo kay array list. Kaya lang, as I've told you, ang akong na uh, based on experience no sa vector ug si array list ang ilang ano lang class ang difference lang jud nila is that uh, i don't know if unsa ang tama no pero inaani pero i mean i don't know kung si array list ba or si vector ang maggrow by 100% or 50 or half lang so kung ang isa ka algorithm ang isa ka algorithm let's say si vector is going to store uh, is going to uh, this has this algorithm na yang yang size is maggrow by 50%. So meaning to say, 
kung ang imong initial capacity is 3 and then they exceed na siya nag insert na ka 3 imong initial capacity and then nag insert ka og another data which is making it 4 na ang size or current size sa imong sa imong sa imong vector so ang iyang algorithm is since iyang algorithm is kanang mo grow by 50% so ang mahitabo is that from capac initial capacity na 3 mag grow by 50% so 50% of 3 is actually 1 no so 1 point man na something pero dili man na pwede nga uh, 1 point something kasi dapat uh, ano man siya whole number kay integral ano man na ang mga sa mga sa na integral man na sa capacity no so one mo grow siya by by 50% which is um in 4 plus 1 mahimo na siyang 5 and then every time mo exceed siya ato na current size mag grow na po siya by 50% sa unsa tong current size ko ang current size nimo is 5 mo grow na po siya by 50% which is mahimo na po siyang uh, 7 and then sa from 7 if mag store ika 8 na ka mag store mo grow na po siya so say, let's say 7 uh, 50% of 7 is uh, 3 so from 7 mahimo na po siyang 10 so na na po kay allowance na 3 no, or 2 probably and then as time uh, as you keep on inserting and inserting using that uh, algorithm or using that uh, dynamic uh, storage no it keeps on multiplying multiplying by its current size to to grow its size by by 50% ang isa 100% so it times to niya sa iyang current size so instead na by per, uh, by 50% ang iyang grow ang ang growth ang growth niya ang iyang ano is times 2 so kung 3 ka nag 3 in current size tapos nag insert ka ika 4 3 times 2 may mo siyang 6 so 6 na karon in current size tapos you keep on inserting na abot na kag 7 so katong imong ano is uh di ba 6 naman to noon abot na ika 7 ika 7 na siya so 6 times 2 na pud to siya may man po siyang 12 so <laughs> When it comes to its algorithm, <laughs> mm, ang difference nila since na race ni Mumura siya o ka na galing party, di ba na sa party na ay uba na, o oh, na mo lang ni number per, per head ang kailangan to is to, ah, uh, kailangan i-cater. So, let's say 50 per head lang. If fixed na 50 per head, dilit na pwede madungagan, dilit na pwede makuaan. <coughs> so, that's array. Okay? So if um if vector siya meaning ang from katong 50 pag mulapas yan ay uban magdala jo na og mga chaperon or other family members bisan wala gi invite so magdala daw kun hanan ni lapas daw siya 50 ni eh, himong 51 or 52 <laughs> what's 50% of 50 so mo to idungag na na idungag na purang packs or number of packs na pwede na makater na pod sa kana na event so let's say 50% of 50 is 25 so nana kay 75 karon na packs ang pwede na pod i-cater if sa vector sa array list is kay by 100% man isa duha lang na ang nadungag sa 50 making it 52 since maggrow siya by 100% so ang may tabo is uh 100% of 50 is another 50 so 100 na pod ang Allowa, allowable na maka add to sa event or sa party which is what if dili in ana kadaghan ang moabot so basically when we talk about algorithm so mas naka save ka sa vector compared to or algorithm complexity mas naka save ka sa vector compared to array list so you can uh yeah you can correct me if i'm wrong makita na mo na dito if basi nagkabaliktad lang uh, as far as i remember in ana ang vector and array list or if baliktad Basta na ay, na ay isa ka-algorithm nila na ang isa mo grow by 50%, ang isa mo grow by 100%. Mo grow siya when, no? When mag-exceed na sa kanang limit gani. Kay uh, dynamic meaning dili man jud siya, mo grow mo shrink naman jud ang value. So kung mag-exceed, na siya yung algorithm na dapat mo expand lang ang ang yang growth, mo expand lang yang size. <laughs> okay, sige. Now, let's proceed to uh, add at last sa ta. Add at last. 
pa, tapos mag mag discreet na dayon ta <coughs> sige let na lang ko explain sa inyo later on uh, <coughs> add at last okay and then if delete kay di man nato makaya karon tanan so maghimo na lang kong tutorial ani na step by step para guide ninyo all throughout the completion of um, linked list data structure okay so this time pag mag add at last ta atong buhaton if is empty so it would be easier for us kung add at last kay kung empty siya we can directly call add first so automatic i add first siya kung empty Okay, wala pa may node, di ba? Wala pa may sulod ato ang link list. <laughs> okay, now, ang medyo ano lang sa last is that you'll need to traverse from one, from your head to the rest of the node kasi sa, di man ato may balan kung asa ang pinaka last node. And the only way for us to determine the last node is to determine which node is pointing the null value. So, mao na at mao po na atong buhaton karon which is this time mag ano taog assign taog node let's say <laughs> mm, aron equals to head okay yeah, don't you worry kasi okay ra ko kana lang sa ubo lang jud no so please uh, understand me for now so we have here um loop na ta okay so mag loop ta with Okay, kopyahon na to ni. Para madali ta. And then, point to null. And then, instead of ato as siyang i-print, ato alang siyang i, link is equal to, ah, link is equal to link that. <laughs> Next. Tapos, once ma-record, o makita na niya dito ang pinaka last node. So, this time, ang new node now would be, kwa o niya tong data. So let's say data. <laughs> Note that next equals to null. So meaning that new node now will point to null. Kasi siya naman ang new node na insert na to sa last element. And then after that is link that next is equal to new node. Okay. So, kung napansin ninyo, dili na si head kasi sa add at first lang ta magamit og head. Okay. So, I guess that's it. Mag-delete ta at first para makompleto lang nato ni. So, public void, delete first. Straightforward lang nila ta. Pwede rin gihapon mag if if is empty, delete ka magpa-delete. If wala i-delete or there's nothing to delete. If uh, else then uh, diretso na to siya i-delete with. So ang simple lang kung mag-delete ta sa uh, delete first. <coughs> Kay all we just need to do is kailangan na nato i-determine ang iyahang ang iyahang uh, next node. So let's say we have uh, let's say head. And then, ang next na tumbuhaton would be only uh, deleting it by simply taking that node as So, this time, what happens here in delete first, that link that is going to point the head, okay, after deleting it, so this time mawala na as a story ang katong head by linking this node to the next node. So in that sense, katong first node sa imuhang list will be removed and re be replaced by the new node or the new address of the node. Okay? Okay. Mm. Sige, dirita, uh, add. So, ganito itong gibuhat, add last, no? So, add last. Add last. 
10, 5.0, ana. Okay. Uh, let's say, lahi na lang. Uh, Viva, MCM, ana. So, and then we are going to also do this in our, yan. Add at last. Yan. So, dapat, uh, yeah, with our node, with the built-in link list, check na to kung wait, null pointer exception at what happened here? Add it at last is equal to na add ba viva wala na ay wala na add si viva no Just wait for a while we well what what l node is equal to head and then point to null okay, once mo point siya sa null i am in for link that text new data Okay, so tama man to. Unsay wala na to na instantiate kare. Link is equal to <coughs> It says that wala daw ta naka instantiate og Okay, null pointer means wala na instantiate. Unsay wala na to na instantiate. New node Instantiate na to si new node. Okay. Which one? Link. Na lagi ni warning, no? So, link. Wait for a while. What happened? Okay. Na ay something there is a instantiation. Unsay wala na to na instantiate there. Taupi <laughs> ako. Check sa na to ng isa ka node. Link is null. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait for a while now. Na atay wala na instantiate. I'm sorry for that, no? Asa na gaito akong game? Atong game, ganin na bago. This one. Di ni mao. Okay. Wait, wait. A print sa nato siya before para makita nato siya class. Let's 
So let's run the program. Okay, remove na lang sa adyod nato ni Kuan class. Wait for a while. Asa ga ito atong traverse. Sorry for that, no? Asa atong traverse. Dara. Let's remove this. Tanggalon sa nato ni Kani. Okay, so. Yeah, so there you are. This is for the link list. Kaning ang ADT nato. So I guess tama siya. So, okay, na, na confuse ko ganina sa atong result naman ko with, with uh, address magunto. So, this time, atong button is mag remove ta. Let's say ll dot remove remove last star. Uh, remove last. And remove last. And then here, mag remove punta o. Uy, sa pangalan sa itong ano? Delete. Ah, delete first. Ah, remove first data din. Dapat remove first. Ayun. Okay. So, let's run and... Yeah, so... Kung sa itong gilas, insert na to. Wait for a while, ha? Okay. Asa to tong game mo? L, L, and L node. O, oh, tama. So, remove first, and then delete first. Okay. Na-delete pa siya? Wala. Wala, sir. Hindi siya na-delete. Wala, na-delete? Wala. Wala, no? Wala, delete sir. First. No, that reverse. Diri sa PCAS, na-delete, wala pod. Wala pod. I wait, sir. Ay, na-delete. Na-delete, oi. I wait lang. Yun sa third line, third block of code sa, ano, sir? Yun sa output, na-delete siya. Oo. Big line, na So, first manta, so 5.0. Tama. No, ang sa diri sa ato ang first, del first sa delete, delete last ang atong ano, delete first. Wala, ang ato ang problem, atong ADT ang problem na to. Wala na to na-delete. Delete siya. Wala na to na-delete. So, i-fix na to. Okay. Kasi atong na-delete man ang link. Di, uh, ang node sa next node atong na-delete. So, sa on niya pag-delete sa head kung uh, link. Link mag-uday akong nabutang diri kanina. So, dapat head. So, sorry. na Mali lang type. Mali ang keyboard. So, there you are. Kung ato ang tanawon. This is for the link list na aid built in 5.0 12 mcm bla 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 nya nag add tag diva tapos nag delete ta delete first siya i remove first nawala ang 5.0 so mao nang ang display na lang 12 mcm ana <coughs> so same sa atong gibuhat same lang man isla atong gibuhat na ato lang man siya gi-compare so ang idea is uh, gi add at last ta which is si viva and then, uh, nag-delete first ta, nawala si 5.0, similar to that one. So, pareha ang ilang output. Okay? So, kanat lang sa siguro karon, And I will just upload later on. If not later, pwede uni, uh, ugma, okay lang. Katong, ano dyan, uh, ihad yung step-by-step -step process all throughout sa pag-add og node. So, i-butang po na ako ang codes diri sa inyuhang unsan ni. Ano lang po na ako diri. And then,
So nice unta if na ata sa sa laboratory para like mag activity ta para mag add mo og what if mag add mo at certain position na on your own ana no para at least we are able, you are able to also try but since yan no wala man anyway that would be all i guess so let me screen share sure. this one. ah yes po ay question sir na confused ako sa week 5 na module 2 sir Opo. which is yung aw oh, 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 sa Ah, sa ganito? Uh, sa stack, sir. Yung katong sa number 3, sir. Ang say, kay, katong nabutang dito, sir, number... Wait lang, ha. Wait lang, ha. Katong sa week 5, sir, is yung number 3 dito, sir. Which okay. is, nalagay dito ang question for for this mo, ano, for this laboratory activity is yung create a stack, a create a class stack and type the following codes. Katong sa ADT stack implementation, sir. Mm-hmm. And sana, sir, katong we will... Katong mag-go, sorry, uh, kami na... Kamo uh, na. Oh, opo, opo. We'll create our own, okay. ano, oh. yung stack, uh, ADT. Oh, pero i-follow lang to ni... Uh, you follow certain kung not necessary na nga, ma-change to yung uban, but you can have your own ADT. I mean, it's because you will be the one to create your own ADT as long as it follows the basic algo sa data sa stack algorithm. Ah, okay. Katong okay. bago kami ng sariling ADT. Hindi uh-huh. yung sa screenshot. Ah, sige, sige. Tapos, but, okay, so thank you guys for uh, for understanding and have a great day. See you guys uh, soon sa exam. And then, that's it. Bye-bye. Salamat kayo, no? Sa tanan. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. Thank Bye-bye. you din po, sir. Get well soon, sir. Sige, salamat. Thank you, sir.